So I'm a quadroon, and I thought I'd take this time to tell you my truth. I've been waiting for that Obama is a mulatto hype to fade through the American conscience. Because maybe my story is just a little too honest. A little too harsh a reminder of civil rights false promises. A little too bright is the light I shed on what lactification trauma is. So these are the confessions of a quadroon. Someone who is three-fourths Massa and one-quarter Coon. Someone who, who changes colors based on the racial makeup of the room, and some call us mixed-raced. But the only time I've been mixed up in my race is in the world's haste to put me in a category, to strip me of my yin and yang reality. See, I wouldn't even exist before color TV. Back then, white men, Noose pulled my uncle's soul from his flesh, and I secretly believe that they just wanted to set him free and watch him become God again. Some men just got nightmares inside of them. These are my confessions. I just gotta get it off my chest, so I do this instead of therapy sessions. I spit in rhythmic bits, cracked like Pangea's continents, as split apart as is my racial confidence. See, I wish, I wish I had some instructions. A guidebook for the colorblind or something. Something to keep these veins away from self-destruction. To keep this brain away from that color-coded corruption that I can see everywhere. These are the confessions of someone who's never felt fully there. Who's never in sync, like writing in blue when everyone else in the class has got black ink. Oh wait, I've got a little black too, said... I've got a little black too, well great, now you can color me till I am black and blue bruised from being beaten with my own confused roots. These are the confessions of a quadroon. Someone who never knew how to be a black, German, Irish, Romanian Jew. <laughs> so I asked around and, and people told me that I would live an easier life if I were to just pass for white. And they were probably right, but I just can't see myself living as a lie. I'd much rather live with the fight. Mm -hmm. Maya Osborne, our first competitor, judges, get your